There are no gods feasting in the heavens who glance down at the suffering of humankind. Beyond Earth, what exists are countless celestial bodies, silent and indifferent, suspended high above, magnificent in their quiet radiance. They do not concern themselves with our lives, yet they shine on, enduring and sublime. Don't be fooled into thinking they are just tiny dots in the sky. When you begin to explore the laws that govern their formation, you start to understand what Einstein meant when he said the universe is comprehensible. Our universe was born from a great explosion, the Big Bang. Yet in those earliest moments, there was nothing that could emit what we now call light. As time passed, the first primordial nebulae came into being. These vast clouds of gas and dust began to form large-scale structures. Clumps of matter coalesced, heating up under gravity's grip, until the first stars ignited within those dusty clouds. Nuclear fusion lit their cores, and in that moment, the universe was illuminated. Darkness finally had a counterpart, and its presence gained meaning. As stars were born, they began to gather into clusters. These clusters then gathered into galaxies. Galaxies merged to form even grander structures. Every star visible to the naked eye belongs to a vast structure we call the Milky Way galaxy. But stars are not eternal. Each one has a lifespan, and ironically, the brighter they burn, the shorter their lives. In their final days, some stars collapsed dramatically, shrinking to the size of a city. At that point, a grain of their matter could weigh as much as a jet airliner on Earth, and some collapse even further, becoming black holes, regions of space capable of devouring everything, even light. Most stars end their lives in spectacular explosions supernovae that return their elements to the cosmos. These stellar remnants become the raw materials of the universe once again. Perhaps one day, a comet or meteor that strikes Earth may carry atoms from a star that exploded billions of years ago. But more astonishing still is what these stars leave behind. Nearly every atom and molecule in your body, everything except for hydrogen originated in the heart of a dying star. When you touch your skin or someone else's, you are touching stardust. Life, as we know it, is made from the remnants of stars, beautiful, resilient, and eternal. This stardust cannot be erased. It carries on, cycled through time, reborn in countless forms. Every living creature on Earth stands as proof of this cosmic truth. This is our universe. This starry sky is both our origin and our destiny.